All right, all right, all right. Hey YouTube, I'm Lucky, and in today's video, we're going to be going over the god roll of the new Lander Fusion Rifle, the Storm Chaser. If you don't know, if you haven't seen my previous video, this thing does insane damage. It does significantly more than normal linear fusions because of its burst fire. Now, obviously, there's a little bit of risk reward there with that because you could miss a few shots because of the burst, but Overall, as long as you're shooting a boss that has a sizable crit, or maybe even if you have someone using a div bubble, you're going to be hitting all of those crits, and you're going to be doing an insane amount of more damage because of the perks that this thing has. So let's go ahead and pull up the API using um, D2 Gunsmith, which finally went live with this information, I believe, today. So now we can see all of the different perks that this thing can roll with now. And we're going to go over the exact god roll, the best roll you're going to be looking for. And first thing we're going to talk about is its origin trait. Um, you take damage and that accelerates your next reload. That's actually a really, really cool origin trait, and that's going to affect the way we choose to shape the god roll of this weapon. Of course, we're going with firing line for the biggest damage boost we can get. That's 20% increase to precision damage only. So, of course, you need to hit those headshots again, but this is the best one. Of course, you're going to want to hit uh, all the headshots on any boss you're shooting at. Uh, for example, Kaitel would be the most common one right now of the dungeon. You know, she's very close. Uh, more or less, you should be able to hit all the headshots which with each burst of this linear fusion so firing line is definitely the choice when you're with a fire team if you're not with a fire team you probably want to pick something more like frenzy vorpal would seem like a good option but it has been nerfed substantially so it's only 10 percent, whereas frenzy is 15 percent. so frenzy is probably the one i'd go with if i was doing like for example a solo lost sector and wanted to use this i'd probably choose that but overall the main primary god role is going to be that firing line role and then the perk that we're going to pair with that we've got three really good options in this slot here We've got Rapid Hit, Clown Cartridge, and Auto Loading Holster. Now, because of this origin trait, Bitter Spite, I will say that Rapid Hit does get a little bit of the steam taken away from it. The increase to reload and stability sounds perfect, so that way the increase to stability means you're going to hit those shots a little bit faster with that, that burst fire, and then the increase to reload is really nice, so that way you don't have to put the reloader on the gauntlets. Um, but I think that the overall real winner here is Clown Cartridge, because... You're going to get a really big magazine each time you reload this. You're going to reload pretty fast because of this, and you could also throw the gauntlet mod on as well. Um, that being said, Rapid Hit is still a really, really good option, and certainly Rapid Hit and Firing Line could be considered the god roll, but I think Clown Cartridge just kind of takes the cake here in this column specifically. But also, Auto Link Holster is always a really good option, especially if you're using like uh, multiple auto loading build, like you can use like auto loading grenade launchers or even Iznagi's Bird. Um, but Overall, I think Clown Cartridge and Fireline is the real god roll. Then we're going to talk about the next column, which is uh, the battery. We're going to go with Accelerated Coils. You do lose a little bit of impact, but the overall damage output is better because you want to get off an extra shot if possible. So you're definitely going to choose Accelerated Coils. There's no doubt about this. Um, you could go with something else if you absolutely have to. Like if you get a roll that doesn't have Accelerated Coils, don't feel like it's a trash roll by any means. But if we could get the 5 out of 5, could craft the 5 out of 5, we would definitely pick Accelerated Coils. And then we got Hammer Forge Rifling. The reason why is because these actually don't have the most range, like Linear Fusions don't have like crazy range. If you shoot across the map, you'll notice that the range is a little bit lacking. So we're going to choose Hammer Forge Rifling to increase that range a little bit. And this will probably be the least significant out of the 5 out of 5 roll for this weapon. And the last thing will be a Charge Time Masterwork. That is going to be part of the God roll. So that way with Charge Time and Accelerated Coils, you're doing as much damage as possible. You have, you know, there's... Burst DPS and their sustained DPS. Linear fusions are really, really good for their sustained DPS. But if you can, of course, you want to get them to do as much burst damage. You want to that damage output to be as fast as possible. And that's why uh, accelerated coils and charge time are definitely, definitely worth it on this. And this is the 5 out of 5 god roll. Let me know which rolls you've gotten down in the comment section below. And let me know what bosses you're using to melt with this thing. Because uh, this thing is definitely really, really good and a lot of fun to use right now in PvE. That's a wrap on today's video, though. Make sure to subscribe with notifications on if you did enjoy. Smash the like button, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Later.